Good morning, I'm Mabel Jong and you're watching the World Healthcare Congress Interview Zone and I'm here now with Dr. Robert Pearl, who is Executive Director and CEO of the Permanente Medical Group, Kaiser Permanente. I am so glad to be able to talk with you, Dr. Pearl. Good morning, Mabel. Now you're responsible for, all told, about nine million Kaiser members. Um, how has reform impacted those people? Healthcare reform to me starts with the basic premise that healthcare coverage leads to access to care and access to care allows better care. Interestingly enough, uh, Dr. Sidney Garfield, who founded our medical group um, almost 70 years ago, spoke about wanting to have a health plan, not a sick plan. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have health insurance, you simply don't get the prevention you need. When you don't have health care insurance, you delay getting the treatment you need. When you don't have health care insurance, uh, the outcomes are not nearly as good. So health care reform in terms of getting coverage to more people has so far been pretty positive. Okay. There have been many folks that have said that this has had a rough start. But as far as you're concerned, do you think we're on the right track? Well, the rough start is all the technology. If you think back to something like Medicare, it took between 10 and 15 years for it to finally come through. As you know, I write a blog for Forbes magazine, and I said it would take about three years before all the kinks of the processes are uh, solved. But fundamentally, once you have healthcare coverage, you're like everyone else with healthcare coverage. There's nothing different about those people except that now they have health, that now they can access healthcare where before they couldn't. And that has been a very smooth process of providing care to more individuals. Can you name for me some of the, the basic concerns you have about American healthcare today? Well, we know that American healthcare is more expensive than it, the rest of the world, and therefore I'll say more expensive than it should be. And we know that American healthcare provides quality as a nation less good compared to other countries of the world. We're in the high end on cost and the lower end on quality. Now, I'm proud of, as you know, Kaiser Permanente, because I think in Kaiser Permanente we provide that quality that matches and actually exceeds the rest of the world. That's a good example of that is hypertension management. Mm -hmm. Across this country, 55% of people are in control. Kaiser Permanente, the New York Times, had an article, the, front, uh, the lead editorial, 87%. That difference, 42% fewer patients getting strokes. Mm -hmm. That's the quality we need in this country for the dollars that we're going to spend. And at the same time, figuring out how to use modern technology to lower that cost even further. Okay, so at the end of the day, is it, are we going to be able to reach the kind of quality that people are striving for? And how much longer do you think it will take before we have more people happy with what they're, this, they're seeing than critics? Uh, what I believe is that it will take between three and five years of sorting out. A major driver of change to me would be number one, the exchanges. Exchanges will create competition. Before, if you're a small business, you offered one plan. Now you'll have five plans. And you'll have the quality data, the service data, and the cost data. That's not available today, by the way, but it will be available. Once you have those pieces, competition, you can make informed choices. In the Medicare arena, you have the Medicare stars rewarding programs with five stars because they simply provide better quality outcomes. We've assumed that all of care is good across the United States. It's not true. There are organizations like Kaiser Permanente that provide better care than people around us. And as an example, 30% lower chance of you dying with a heart attack or stroke. If you're a member of Kaiser Permanente, then care in the community. That's 30%. 40% lower chance of getting a stroke. 40% lower chance of dying from systemic infections. These are the kinds of changes we need for all of American health care. And I'm proud that in Kaiser Permanente, we're leading the way. Okay, and my final question is a message to the physicians. To be a doctor today seems quite daunting from the paperwork standpoint. Uh, I'm sure that many doctors want to provide good quality care, but they're, they're bogged down by the system. What is your message to them? Have more patients? My message to, to doctors today is change will happen, lead the change. Don't let the insurance companies do it. Don't let the hospitals do it. It should be physician-led because it's the physician who talks to the patient. But you gotta change. You gotta embrace technology. You gotta embrace prevention. You've gotta find ways to provide care that's more coordinated, that's more effective. And in doing that, we can solve the healthcare problems of this nation better than anyone else. Dr. Pearl, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Mabel. And I'm Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching.